Hello there, I'm Colonel Failure and this is City Skylines. Uh, you're currently looking at probably the busiest section of traffic in my entire city. Yep, it worked. Um, the, uh, the the fixes to, uh, to traffic problems have, uh, have paid off, and it's largely due to what I have dubbed Failure's Hexagon. Um, now available on the Steam Workshop. Uh, if you want to grab it, yes, it is friendly, no matter which side of the road you want to drive on, because the game automatically switches uh, the direction that the roads travel according to whether you've chosen drive on the left or drive on the right. So if you want one of these magnificent things for yourself, help yourself. Um, splendid. Right, what's going on? Uh, I picked up the Auto Bulldoze mod. Um, currently, I've got it running. Let's just bring it up here. It's just demolishing burned buildings automatically uh, because I want to keep an eye on uh, buildings that have uh, have become unoccupied, so I can I can keep track of uh, problems as they uh, as they come up. Anyway, that's what we've got going on there. So, what's our plan? Well, we're, you know, we're working on, on just kind of general progress, really. Uh, we've got a few niggling problems going on over in our, our newer area. Actually, they seem to have disappeared. A couple of minutes ago, they were complaining about crime. Not complaining about it anymore, though. So, uh, I'm going to say that crime is all fine over here. Absolutely no complaints whatsoever. Uh, we've got plenty of room for, for expansion uh, at the moment. And we've got money coming in, which is good. So, I think what I probably want to do is, uh, is just try and start driving up a bit, of, uh, a bit of demand. There is no demand for anything currently. Nobody wants to live here. Which is, uh, well, I mean, it's, it's fine, I guess. What do you mean? What are you griping about crossroads and traffic? You've pulled me over here, and what's the problem? Oh, buses! There's a bus! Right, yes, I ought to sort out my bus route since I've, uh, I've changed the layout of town a little bit. Yeah, I've got some crime happening over there. But not, not in a huge way. No, it's, uh, you know, we're relatively, relatively under control. We've got two of our three city dumps are full. And that's not brilliant. Uh, here we go. And this is, uh, if you tuned in over the last couple of episodes, I'll, I'll, I'll actually, I'll take you for a quick walk through this to show you how it's working. So, traffic coming into town comes off this hexagon here and will be routed onto this one-way system which obviously will filter them out uh, either towards uh, the main area of town and actually I want to put a road in here so that they, uh, so that they can exit out that way. That's, uh, what have we got? That's a, just a four lane street which is going to cause traffic lights but we've got traffic lights on the other side of the road already. Maybe if we put a, put a one way street off there shouldn't cause too much drama. Ha! Huh. And in doing so, I'd actually cut off the uh, the bus station as well. Brilliant. Oh yeah, nothing nothing like uh, denying your public transport the the uh, ability to op operate. And uh, with this enormous fleet of buses we've just sent out, I can imagine we'll probably snarl the traffic up a little bit. Good times. Uh, yeah, so they get fed onto the one-way system here, and they can either depart happily out towards the kind of larger residential area, or if they want to go round our uh, our really rather splendid and uh, and emerging commercial area, our uh, our out of town retail park. Well, it's not even out of town really. Um, then they can thread themselves onto this one-way system, which also happily enough leads onto the way out of town. So there you go. You go you get to go one way and if you need any of the buildings up any of these streets, these are all one way as well. Keeps things moving along. Uh, and largely the the choice of one way streets in this section has been to uh, to kind of uh, in ensure that we don't get traffic backing up at traffic lights. So here we go. All of this is zoned already, so it can all grow as and when it needs to. 
And then when people are exiting this commercial area, they're all going to come out on this part of the uh, network. Now, this way, where we have got a little bit of traffic building up. Probably due to having two-way streets in, in quite a lot of this section. But it does, it flows out quite quickly. So while you will get stuck moving from, uh, from traffic light to traffic light, it flows out very quickly and doesn't get blocked out there. So, uh, so yes, we'll, we're expecting heavy traffic at all of these kind of interchanges here, including this one. In fact, look at all these garbage trucks <laughs> ready to roll out. That's, uh, that's pretty excessive. In fact, they could possibly do with better connections. But the upshot is everybody can get to where they need to go, which is absolutely ideal. And, I mean, as you can see from our bands, we're, you know, we're raking it in. Cash coming in, no problem at all. Uh, let's go have a look at some of our... Uh, we've got the towering inferno going on there, but the fire department are on it. You're bothered about noise? Move to a more expensive apartment. Uh, what else have we got going on? Bit of crime out here. All of this area is really kind of ripe for, for redevelopment anyway, but uh, but right now, it's ticking along. Okay, I think one of the things from, uh, from previous city building games uh, was that a good way to drive industrial demand was to improve industrial connections. And I'm really keen to drive industrial demand because... Uh, I'm a fan of uh, of heavy industry, so uh, I think what we're going to want to do is firstly get the road crossed over and extend this industrial zone here a little more, uh, and then secondly get a, a train station up. So let's have a think about where the best location for this is. So we've already got. Uh, a good a good location on there I possibly ought to look at demand for various bits and pieces as well soonish hmm. what are you oh you're a fire station okay cool forgive me I'm just pondering my next enthralling move Okay, right, so let's get me... This is six lane, isn't it? Right. Now, if we one way in this direction, we're going to want to be able to uh, get people back out again. Which means feeding them onto there, ideally. So let's do that first. Let's see if we can actually get a bridge up and over. That's a one-way bridge. We don't want one way, we want two way. And yes, it's going to cause a little bit of uh, excitement. Slope is too, it's too steep. I only went up one there, didn't I? Yeah. Hmm. Possibly because there's a gentle incline in the ground itself. I'm going to ponder whether actually this is... Uh, All right, okay, 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 okay. What we'll do here, what do we got? That's two-way, so let's continue that. Stay on. Ah, and then we've got, we can go under here. All right, all right, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go out here. That's not in considerable cost, then we'll go under there. Actually, I want it uh, kind of. Uh, there we go, perpendicular to the uh, to the rail line, and then we'll head out this way. Yeah, this is the one. Right, good. Now that probably traffic lit that area, but that's okay because these are all big capacity roads we've got going on here. And then we'll uh, 
we'll add slip roads off to this off this road here so that people can get to it. And listen, I think you know you're going to start seeing this slightly more often. Is uh, is my building uh, infrastructure? In fact, you'll see this constantly. This is just how I build. Uh, building the infrastructure before anything else. And building it well in advance, you know, I'd expect it to be a while before this stuff was used significantly, if at all. Okay, that's pleasant. Now, this section of, uh, of kind of motorway, freeway, interstate, I haven't yet decided what I'm calling it permanently. Uh, will probably get some redevelopment because I'm going to turn this into another hexagon. Look at this inefficient thing rolling over here. I mean, clover leaves may be very attractive to look at, but my god, they use up a lot of space. So I'll probably hexagon that at some point. Uh, right. What next? So that's one way. If we... Uh, Connect that up to there. Gives us some more zonable space. Actually, it will also run a little bit out there. Yep, like that. That's fine. And we'll put another one. No, not there. Give me the uh, the flexi tool. Smashing. Okay, so that's going to create a fair chunk of traffic on this road here which possibly isn't up to the job. So we might need to uh, re-evaluate that a little later on, but for the moment, that's not too bad. As you can see, see still un in terms of demand, negligible amounts of demand. Um, so hopefully this, uh, this train system I'm about to set up will help with that. And I've not played with trains at all. Right, okay, so let, we, we're going for a cargo train here. this where we want to go? Is this really the best place for it? I think it possibly is. Alright, well it's 60,000 so let's get it placed and see what it uh, see what it's inviting us to do. And much like everyone in the comments said, yes indeed I have now unlocked the track. We'll just uh, we'll keep it simple. We'll we'll spur off the uh, the main route in both directions. All right. Okay. And obviously, because this is going to be the uh, most highly sought section of uh, of industrial real estate, we'll uh, we'll zone up a little bit there and see if people are interested in uh, in turning up. Hard to know exactly how this is going to uh, make an impact, and it was, and it's really, really quite costly to uh, to install the thing. However, look, here comes some trucks. Are you coming here? Yes, you are. Right. Okay. So we've got stuff being delivered to our freight terminal already, which is good, and we've got a good connection from the rest of. Uh, the rest of the industrial area to make that happen as well, which is good. I'd quite like to be able to zone in that section as well, so let's have a... Yeah, let's do this. Let's go that way and then uh, take it up one. And then 
back down again. Just enough to zone this section. Don't get me wrong, anybody who wants to uh, to build their factory there is, uh, is asking for traffic problems, but uh, you know what? That's their choice. All right, splendid. And I would imagine that traffic lit that area as well. Yes, it did. Okay, well, can't be helped. Can't be helped. Um, probably want to expand. I'm not going to zone this section just yet because uh, there's a high chance I'm going to want to expand out to this uh, this next section along. But uh, let's, you know, let's give people some choices around here and uh, and see where that takes us. No, that'll do for now. Okay, good. Right, so we've got a moderate build-up in uh, in residential demand now, which is fine, um, and just the tiniest amount of industrial demand as well. Actually, I'd better check that they're... Uh, yeah, they are resourced. Good work. Actually, this other section here that we can actually build on, it looks like people might be avoiding it for once. Uh, based on there not being water available. Uh, if you remember last time around, people were building willy-nilly on uh, on areas that uh, actually had no uh, water supply whatsoever. Because people are crazy. There we go. Let's see how that helps, if it helps at all. So, yeah, I mean, interesting. Uh, I need to have a look at, at how we're going to uh, going to drive demand. And we need to get some more water in, and we need to have some more sewage going out. So I wonder whether it's about time we uh, we moved our, uh, our sewage disposal area a little bit further downstream. What are you? You're a water treatment plant. Not that expensive. Okay, maybe this is the uh, the route to success, and we'll put that. Uh, yeah, I mean, we've got this kind of utilities area here with our garbage dumps and what have you, and no one seems that keen on actually building there. So I could plant this if I can find the space. Must be placed on shoreline. Okay, all right, sorry, pardon. Yep, okay. All right, in that case, I think we'll go over here. There we go. Let's put you there. Get you on the, uh, on the pipeline. And how much are these going to cost me? Two and a half thousand. Fine, we'll... Uh, Okay, so the addition of uh, the, um, the the water treatment plant should offset. Yep, get rid of it. Should make a difference to uh, to the amount of uh, uh, required pumps that uh, that we've been using. Let's see if we can get under there. It's not going to. It's not going to let it, is it? Okay, right, fine. Well, delete it then. And pause the game before people notice that actually there is nowhere for the sewage to flow at the moment. Let's take... Can we get over there? Can we? It wants to stick one in the middle. Obviously, we can remove that later on once it's uh, once it's juiced up and happy. And we need to get some more water coming in. What are you? You're a coal power plant. We've already got one of them. Uh, let's have a look. Water. More water in, please. And we'll take it from our lovely fresh water area here. Excellent. Right. Uh, unpause. Kill that off. And then we can we can we should affect that down on uh, 
why are you saying there's a problem at this junction? There isn't. I mean, there's a bus stuck at... Oh, I was going to look at buses, wasn't I? Okay, well, that's one for next episode, I think. Get some public transport working. You've got high crime rate here. All right, well, I should possibly look at the... Uh, exterior crime rate. Meanwhile, over here... Excellent. Uh, budget. Let's check the budget on water. Actually, let's check the... Uh... Right, water availability is pretty high. Water pumping capacity is fabulous. Sewage draining is good. We can drop the budget on that. Let's, uh, let's drop it at 95% and see if that keeps us uh, within tolerances. Because obviously I want a bit of excess capacity for, for new growth. Um, yep, that seems to have done the trick. Good. But I don't want to be paying over the odds in the process. Uh, let's do the same thing for electricity briefly just to finish off. What are we doing? Consumption 210, production 275. Great. And incinerator status. We need another incinerator. Because the landfill is filling up. Okay, but we're not going to recycle plant or something like that. That would that would be quite helpful. Oh, look, here we go. So, um, so the commercial area has built up a little bit. What's what's going on here? Not enough customers. All right, we need to get uh, we need to get buses moving to uh, to bring some custom out to our retail park. As you can see, very little is flowing from the uh, the residential side of the uh, of the city, which is odd because uh, normally you can't keep people out of their cars. Well, actually, we've got a little bit of uh, housing demand. So, how about I fill this out with some housing and see if that does enough to uh, jolly things along a little. Not too much, you understand. Just enough to uh, potentially drive some custom. There we go. That I mean, it, this will also be a halfway decent measure of uh, of whether I, this will cause uh, kind of traffic mayhem. But we've got lots of reports of not enough customers over here. Hmm. So we do need to get that moving. And what are people's choices? If they're coming from uh, the housing area... You've got slip roads. You've got a slip road there, and you've got the main one-way section down here. So uh, there's no uh, no reason at all to, uh, to, to miss out. Right, incineration. That's what I want. Not cheap. Put it somewhere where nobody really cares about the pollution. That right on the corner here. Excellent. Okay, good. I think that'll probably cover it for now. Uh, the, the, the big problem with uh, with games of this kind is, uh, in terms of recording them, not in terms of the game itself, in terms of recording them, is that uh, there is a certain amount of sit and wait and watch it happen uh, that, that needs to take place. Uh, and I don't really want to do that in between episodes, because otherwise you're going to miss out on little tweaks that I make as we go along. Uh, so there will inevitably be a certain portion of each episode where we just sit and watch things. What the hell is burning down here? Any sign of the fire department at all? I, I invested very heavily in the fire department recently. Anyone? I'm not hearing sirens. Huh. Okay. So, uh, so as this burns casually to the ground... Oh, there we go. Now I hear sirens. There we go. Stuck behind this hot dog van. Uh, yeah, that'll wrap it up for this time. I wouldn't... Obviously, he wants to cook his hot dogs. Um, yeah, I've been Colonel Failure. Thanks for watching today. Uh, we're going to keep this series up at, uh, at a good pace. 
so that uh, so that progress can happen relatively swiftly. And uh, and next time round, it looks very likely we're going to crack through twenty thousand population. How's about that? Uh, thanks for watching today. Please leave a like and subscribe, and I will catch up with you next time. Thanks very much. Cheerio.